Welcome to my review of Delta Flight 186 between LAX and London Heathrow in premium economy. This was the first time Delta flew this route since 2015, which means we also got to experience inauguration perks. We first started our trip by visiting the lounge. Delta recently restricted access to its lounges, but luckily our premium economy tickets paired with my Delta Gold status allowed us to visit the brand new lounge at LAX, which I have to say is quite impressive. The lounge is spacious and was not too busy at the time we visited. It includes multiple restaurant style eating areas with table and chairs and an outdoor seating area with a bar where you can watch planes take off and land. It also gives you access to private showers which need to be reserved. Just allow a few minutes for someone to come unlock the door for you. The food selection was quite impressive. There was a taco bar where they would make a taco right in front of you. A few warm options were available. Many self-serve drink options were available. Just for this inaugural flight, there was English tea and muffins available for everyone at the lounge. Leaving the lounge, we walked through the new gates area at LAX, which was widely improved since Delta took over a few years ago, and the terminal is barely recognizable. Our gate was decorated for the occasion and employees were handing out British themed cupcakes and coffee. I'll have chocolate. As this was an inaugural flight, the entire crew gathered at the gate and the captain cut the red ribbon. There you go. Thank have you. a great evening. Thanks for flying Delta. We finally boarded this Airbus 330-900neo for a 10 hours and 40 minutes flight. The premium economy cabin included four rows of seats in a 232 configuration. I chose window seat 22A. We were given a headset, amenity kit, slippers, blanket, and pillow. The seat was like a domestic first class one. In fact, other airlines use this exact same seat in domestic first class. The tray is hidden in the armrest, and on the other side you can find the seat and TV commands. There's also a little bit of room to stow a bottle of water and your headset, even though there's a warning not to stow anything during takeoff and landing. The amenity kit included socks, moisturizer, earplugs, a toothbrush and toothpaste, as well as an eye mask. Our surprise bag included M&Ms, Twix bars, and shortbread cookies. Delta's entertainment system is reactive and has a good selection of movies and TV series, but it lacks extras like an outdoor camera or games. The menu was printed on a card. I always appreciate knowing the options in advance. 
I went with the chicken piccata. The obligatory wet towel was given in a bag. I guess this is better for freshness, but probably not great for the environment. I started with a glass of sparkling wine served in a plastic cup. We were also given cheese biscuits as a mousse gel. The main dish came on a plastic tray without any presentation like you would get in business. Silverware was of metal and my Bloody Mary was served in real glass. The overall presentation of the food was lacking and didn't appear appetizing. But for airplane food, the taste did not disappoint me. After the meal, the crew turned off the lights and I took the opportunity to walk around the cabin. Economy class had a 242 configuration. The lavatory was clean and was big enough for me to turn around, which is not always the case in planes. About an hour before landing, we were offered a light breakfast. Wooden utensils and plastic cups, just like an economy class. Again, the presentation wasn't appetizing, and this time, appearances were right. The sandwich didn't taste great. We were finally given a small chocolate before starting our final approach into London. Overall, I think this premium economy option was worth it, even though it was closer to regular economy than business class. Seats were comfortable, which is important for such a long flight, but reclining poses the same problem as in economy. I give it 4 stars. Food was good, but presentation was lacking, and taste was missing for the breakfast. I give it 3.5 stars. Service was top notch. As you'd expect from an inaugural flight, everybody was happy to be working that day. Flight attendants regularly came back to check on us. 5 stars. Entertainment on board was good, but could be even better. I didn't have a chance to test the Wi-Fi, but it was available. 4 stars. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and subscribe for more airplane reviews.